Welcome back to the Hampton Road Show, uh, Road Show, everybody. We're back in the kitchen. Sorry, I got a little tongue-tied. We're in the kitchen with the one and only Chris Hill from the Bachelor Kitchen. He's making some easy and delicious favorites for us. Pesto and steak and oatmeal risotto. And I think we get, need to start with the oatmeal risotto. Let's Chris. do, man. Um, Tell me all about it. Real quick, I kind of got it started because it takes a while. Mm -hmm. Like a normal risotto, which is usually made with arborio rice. Right. You have to cook it down, cook it down, add liquid, keep cooking, add liquid, keep cooking. Instead, we have these oats right here, right? So we typically eat these for breakfast. Right. Quaker oats, whatever. Today we're using steel cut oats, which is essentially the same exact thing. The same part of the process, they husk them everything, and then the difference here is the ones we're used to eating for breakfast, mm -hmm. they flatten. Okay. And then these, they just kind of chop up. Now, the steel <clears throat> cut, does it take longer to cook those? It takes longer to cook. Okay. Which is why we're going to get them started now, so we uh, hopefully it's done by the end. But it's got a much better texture, almost kind of a little nutty flavor, right. like you'd think of with like an oatmeal too. So. Okay. But it's be nice and savory and delicious. There's a little bit of shallot in there. I have some garlic. Uh-huh. This can go right in there with you. There you go. And then you're going to let those kind of cook down a little bit. And if you want, just go ahead and add that, those oats in there. Okay. And maybe grab a spoon. Yeah, go ahead. Yep, just toss it right in. Gotcha. And then grab a spoon and kind of okay. keep stirring them. <clears throat> Gotcha. And those are going to cook down. So after about a minute or so, add about a cup or so of this. We have chicken broth over here. Right. Chicken stock. Just you want to make sure it's low sodium. Add a cup. And then it's going to keep cooking. And when the, all the liquid is absorbed, you're going to add another cup. Okay. And keep doing that until we'll taste it about 30 minutes in. It should be nice, kind of a little bit chewy texture to it, but right. um, still have some good flavor. And we'll add some of this tomato, some Parmesan cheese and finish off with a little bit of basil. That sounds delicious. Okay, so you said after about a minute, add a cup. Yep. Uh, Actually, if you, if you want, you can go ahead and do that now. What's, it, what's doing right now with that is it's going to activate the, um, the, uh, the grain in there. It's going to kind of get it started for us. So you say add a cup. Yep. All right. So yeah, just kind of play it by ear. I got you. Now here, as you see, we have some steaks I've already started marinating. Very nice. And some lemon basil pesto, mm -hmm. which pesto is obviously with basil. Some pine nuts. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to make this, and then we'll um, maybe save this for later. But okay. Some pine nuts. <clears throat> some Parmesan cheese. Some basil. Make sure you get rid of all the stems. And then, let's see here. Some lemon juice. Everything. Everything seems to be better with basil. It is absolutely. Yep. And like the lemon, it's just gonna have really bright, nice summer flavors. And then some lemon zest. That like a tablespoon or so. Gotcha. And then I'll probably do that during the break because last time I tried to use the food processor on air, it did not go well. Oh, please. It wasn't here. It wasn't here, but. Oh, please. I'll have nightmares forever. Come on, man. And then we're going to add the rest that, of the that's, basil. That's what we like it when things don't go right in the kitchen. You're not going to exactly. do it? Exactly. Come on. You're going to give it a shot, right? Well, I don't think, you know, honestly, I don't know if we have enough uh, stuff in here. We, okay, can, give, we can give it a try. Okay. We can give it a try. I like that. Mm, I don't know where my top is. How's it looking over there? You got some water? Or I, I think I might need to add a little bit more. Yeah, go for it. I'm gonna add so a you're, more. you're just going to keep adding, like medium low heat, just mm -hmm. keep adding until for, really for about 30 minutes or so. And okay. um, I'm not going to start this. Why not? All right, let's get, give it a shot. All right, hold, your, hold on, everybody. There's uh, one way to beat the heat. We're going to watch Chris Hill try to pro, uh, use a food processor. Uh, there we go. Hey, there we go. go. So then you're going to just basically chop it up and it's going to be nice and pretty, really nice bright flavors. Very nice. And you can marinate it at least for a couple hours or even overnight. It's going to get nice and tender. There's really bright flavors. Then we're going to sear it off in the pan, finish it off and put it over the risotto and it's going to be really nice and, and delicious. And you, you, were, you were actually not going to do that. I was having flashbacks to my last episode when I was down in Jacksonville. Conquer your fears, young man. I'm trying to. I'm All trying. right, we're going to have more at the Bachelor Kitchen in just a moment. Thank you, Chris. Yep. Alrighty, we're back now in the kitchen with the one and only chef, Chris Hill from Bachelor <laughs> Kitchen. He's wrapping up his uh, oatmeal risotto, and we're going to get to the flat iron steak. But I tell you what, Chris, you've been putting me to work, man. I, I, I said, I'm worried about burning these. Don't stop work. now. Don't, don't stop, stop now. now. You have maybe one more spoonful of the, of the broth stock. Oh, okay. All right. And then I think we're probably good. You think so? Yep. And then okay. what we'll do is we'll add, I'm going to slice these in half, these little cherry tomatoes. Uh -huh. Add those. Add some of those crushed tomatoes. And then finish off some Parmesan cheese. And the very end, a little bit of uh, chopped basil. I'm curious how this is all going to turn out. We'll find out shortly, won't we? We will find out. Stick around for that, everybody. So here's the steak, again, uh -huh. that we um, marinated in the lemon basil pesto. Very nice. 
Okay. Should should we that was a little bit on? melodramatic. Yeah, should we turn <clears throat> that on? Yeah, it's on, but there not go. quite hot enough. There we go. There we go. Let's just wait one more second. Why don't you go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and add some of this stuff. <clears throat> yeah, let's go ahead and add the, uh, the risotto oatmeal. Oatmeal risotto. And listen, while we're doing this, Trust time to talk a little Bachelor Kitchen. <laughs> yes, sir. What you been up to lately, my man? Uh, well, a couple weeks ago I did a TED Talk, which was pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're familiar with the whole TED series, but it was uh, pretty awesome. Had cool. the opportunity to... How'd it go? It was great. And what'd you talk about? I got to share uh, my story on kind of becoming a chef, how before I was in consulting, hated my job and all that good stuff. And wow. Took a chance, and here I am in a restaurant, you know, as a chef, and you have to do what I love, hang out with you guys and all that good stuff. So Very nice. It's a blast. It should be on YouTube pretty soon. I'll obviously post a link and everything. But I uh, took some vacation and just kind of hanging out. There's your website, looking good. Yes, sir. Bachelor Kitchen. And check me out over at Three Way. Uh, three Way. Okay, we'll do that. Um, see, there's those tomatoes. Okay, so all of a sudden cheese. the uh, oatmeal risotto changed colors on us. It sure it, did. It, it really went from. It's uh, kind of sneaky on you, huh? It got sneaky. Okay, so now it's time for the yeah. steak. And then what I'm gonna do is once these get going, mm -hmm. I'm gonna base a little bit more of this pesto on the other side of the steaks. So how are your Atlanta Braves doing? Well, they won nine in a row. And then lost on Sunday, lost last night, but... That's okay. You win nine in a row. We're You're making like, up some yeah, ground for sure. Eight games or so in the uh, NL East. You know, that... Uh, at least our fans aren't falling asleep at the games. No, they're not. No, they're not. And, uh, and of course, the World Cup semifinals. I mean, it seems as if when Team USA got out, everyone forgot about the, the tournament. However, it's still going on, and some of the best matches are still up ahead. Today, Brazil and Germany, who you That's got? Um, you know, I, I wish I was a little bit more into it. When the USA was playing, it was one thing. I guess Brazil. I have some friends from Brazil. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you're going with the home favorites. Yeah, I think so. Especially you know they're ranked number one and number two. I mean, this is a heck of a matchup. Especially with their, their best player out. You know, should be interesting. Odds against them. So okay. So these, so these the are cooked about these are about four ounce steaks. We cook about two or three minutes aside. Flip them over. Mm -hmm. It's about the same time for a good medium, rare to medium. Okay, so advice for anybody this time of year cooking in the kitchen. Obviously, fresh ingredients, right? Fresh ingredients, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean. I grew up and my mom, dad had fresh tomatoes in the garden. If you can, do that. If not, stop by the local farmer's markets. There's so much great produce here, even like great seafood close by. Take right. a chance, you know, support local guys. But yeah, use whatever you can local. I promise you it's so much better than the stuff that's picked you know, two or three weeks ago over in California. That's right. Find your farmer's market uh, and, and fresh seafood this time of year. It's, it, there's an abundance of it. It sure is. It really is. You got your blue crabs going? Let's not talk about that. My wife's not happy. I haven't put the crap, the pots out. I've been too busy. Well, I want, I want a batch when you uh, get caught up. I'll, I'll hook you up. I promise you. Yeah, I should have done it on Sunday, but I didn't have time. So how are we looking on the steaks? We're good. We're going to flip them. Okay. Probably want them to go a little bit longer, but yeah, that's okay. We'll still taste good. And we'll get a nice sear on this side. And maybe when we're all said and done at the end of the show, I'll place them up for you and kind of see the finished product. Okay. So, um, so we have a couple more minutes once again to plug what's coming up for you in the near future. Of the near future, um, gosh, I'm trying to think. Um, I'm, I've been playing catch up. I've been doing some consulting work, uh -huh. working with some restaurants here uh, locally with issues uh, regarding their menu, their right. creative process. So, kind of helping some people with that, which has been fun, but kind of time consuming at the same time. What is hot, new, and trendy right now in the, in the world of culinary arts and food, food scene? I'm sure you probably saw this, that, or something that turned your head. Well, lic licorice is kind of popular right now, a little bit of trend. Okay. But aside from that, flavor-wise, um, obviously the Mukhtar Gastronomy's uh, been big and still still kind of going that direction. You know, I've kind of gotten into that, which I think we did, what we did, a um, little play on tomato with some of right. that one time. Um, yep. But kind of, I think, still just kind of going back to the roots, kind of. Stay fresh, stay, stay fresh, local. Stay local, yeah. Stay fresh, stay local. For, for the local guys. So. Well, listen, Chris Hill, as always, it's always a pleasure when you come. We'll Definitely. see this uh, steak and risotto wrapped up in just a moment. Thanks again. Thank you.